Two Orange County couples are among those who have fallen victim to this so-called burglary tourism. The problem is so prevalent, it's apparently prompted an apology from a South American country. Reporter Josh Campbell has the story. Home burglaries. They hit the jackpot. From coast to coast. I could see that the entire place had been trashed. But these aren't your typical thieves. We've heard now they use drones. And their alleged crimes even have nations pointing fingers. I got a letter of apology from the Chilean ambassador. But it all starts much closer to home, with lives changed forever. You don't feel safe in your own home anymore. Carol and Jeff Starr thought their jewelry was secure, locked up in a safe in their Orange County, California home. My mother wanted to leave a legacy through jewelry, and she bought some beautiful antique jewelry, museum quality jewelry. But thieves are believed to have stalked the neighborhood, waited for the family to leave, and got away with $8 million in heirloom jewelry and other items. They broke through a window in the upper be uh, bedroom and came through that window and then immediately started working. Once they found the safe, started working on the safe. Police say the break-in is part of a sophisticated ring of thieves who arrive from South America, often from Chile, prosecutors say, where it's easy to get a tourist visa waiver to the U.S., then join with others in a coordinated effort to scout and break into homes. They lie in wait in these ghillie suits so they remain camouflaged while they're watching the behaviors of the homeowners when they come and go. They have Wi-Fi jammers to stop the alarm company from being notified. Hundreds of wealthy homes targeted, authorities say, from Scottsdale, Arizona, to Raleigh, North Carolina, and Nassau County, New York, recent arrests have highlighted a nationwide issue. So we have to be willing to start asking some hard questions of our federal government. The so-called burglary tourists have law enforcement demanding change to the Electronic System for Travel Authorization, or ESTA, which allows up to 90-day visits to the U.S. from certain countries, including Chile, which Spitzer says is not providing the required background checks on its citizens. Well, if we don't know the criminal background of these individuals, then we can't tell the judge anything or represent anything about the background, which means the person's released on no bail and they never come back again to answer for the charges. Spitzer claims another Chilean suspect was out on bail when he broke into this Dana Point, California home in July. This is the window the burglar came through. The Sundar family built their dream home, now rebuilding their peace of mind. We want to move away from here, and I don't feel very secure at all. They say for a problem so well known to public officials, it's time to put an end to these crimes. I want to know what these politicians are doing up there. They're supposed to help us. Because I want a politician to go through this experience and he may feel exactly as I feel. Now, Chilean officials didn't respond to CNN's request for comment, but the Department of Homeland Security said it was working with that government to urgently address the issue. In a statement, DHS says Chilean officials have responded by improving operational cooperation with DHS offices in efforts to detect, deter, and prevent travel to the United States by known criminal actors. DHS says that once those changes are fully implemented, the U.S. will have access to travelers' background information. But, of course, for a type of criminal scheme that has been around for so many years, Years, the victims we spoke with are asking, what took so long? Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.